Ghostbusters, I think at this point, is probably a, a franchise that most people are familiar with, and I'm, if you've seen them, you'll recognize certain things in this one for sure. Um, you always want to make things that are you can see kind of for the first time, not having any prior knowledge of other films, and have it make sense, and I think it does. But it's, you know, it's, I think, in keeping with the other Ghostbuster films, in that it's, it's funny, it's kind of scary, it's um, about kind of misfits and family and um, being there for one another, and, and it's, a, you know, it's fun. It was so much fun getting to work with Carrie and Finn and McKenna um, on the first, on the Afterlife, on the first one that we all did together. Uh, so to be able to come back and work with them on this, as well as Kamel and Patton and uh, James A. Caster. You know, like, there's so many, and uh, William Atherton. I mean, there was like so many new people that it was, it was, it was great. It was amazing to work on this thing because I get to do it with the originals, you know, the, that whole crew. And I mean, everybody that worked on this film was lovely and I'm a fan of everybody, but to be in that setting, in that suit, you know, shooting those proton packs next to them was surreal. It's just the craziest thing and something I'll always treasure. One of the things I love about Jason and Gil is that they really prioritize practical special effects. And as actors, there's nothing more fun than to actually be interacting with those things when we're doing it. It's not green screen acting. You have a lot to respond to. And I, I mean, we don't make movies like that very much anymore. And I'm so grateful I get to do it. There's plenty for everybody. I mean, it's certainly more fun for the fans. If they, they all know the Easter eggs. There are tons of secrets and special things in the movie for the fans. But you can really just pick up anywhere because this is really a family story at the heart and anybody can relate to, you know, a single mom in New York trying to make ends meet is really what it's about for me. <laughs> There's a lot of sort of scary moments, um, but it, it always has a levity to it because of all the comedy, um, which the first one did, you know, expertly well. And, and you know, Gil and Jason have tried to sort of, um, you know, uh, inject that kind of DNA into the, these films, which uh, yeah, I'm very proud of. It was really cool to be able to work with them for a second time, to be able to work with them in another film, though we have so many, so there's so many people in this film. We have so many new cast members. That's really exciting to add to the franchise. There's so many, there's new Ghostbusters, there's new tools, there's new uh, friends that we collect along the way. There's so much uh, new stuff in this film, but it is really always a treat and an honor to share the screen with the original Ghostbusters. <laughs> Four years later, it's about the same kind of feeling. With that one, I knew exactly what we had. I knew we were going to kill him. This one, I haven't seen the movie yet, so I don't know what's going to happen. But everyone says it's good. And the guy tells me it's funny, so I take his word for it. I think that it scares the leap out of you at the same time as making you laugh. And I don't think a lot of films can do that. Um, it's just, it's perfect for everyone. Everyone can like it no matter what your age is. Um, and so I just think it's like a family favorite forever and always will be. This film stands on its own. You do not need to see all the other Ghostbusters to see this one and to appreciate it, but I think audiences will definitely take away, you know, this idea of chosen family and that you can find community and friendship. Yeah! So good to see you, Celeste. Sorry, I didn't want to interrupt. <laughs> you can have Celeste back. But, yeah, exactly what I was saying. Like, you can find your chosen family and your community anywhere, really. You know, those things that we all kind of wonder about, you know, what happens after we leave here, you know, what's in the closet when the lights are out. But um, 
and it's a little bit scary. We don't talk about it. And this movie sort of put it out there and then it allowed us to kind of laugh about it. You know what I mean? It's like, um, sort of like, you know, whistling in the dark or something, you know? And I think we hadn't seen that. And I think that's what people really responded.